for for so long, I have to say, the first thing is that if you want a custom made stencil t-shirt, go to the stencil station right there with that shake. Don't be fooled by the shake. Anyway, also, if you would like, um, Get Lit has graciously come here to pass out bike lights to anybody that doesn't have bike lights to keep us safe on the street. yet of course because we still have to add the bikes and before we add the bikes and really complete the structure uh, Kristen from the Regional Arts and Culture Council is going to say a few things It is my extreme awesome honor to introduce Handsome Day, your librarian for the past five years. Believe it or not, believe it or not, I've never used one of these. This is going to be quick, so save your applause for the end, okay? All right, I got a bunch of people to thank because, of course, not just one person did this. All the Zoo Bombers, past and present made this possible, the people of Portland, hold it, hold it, it's here, I know I told you I haven't used it before, the Portland City Council, the people of Portland, PDOT, the Community Cycling Center for giving away lights today, in that case for providing helmets for this thing, for the future Zoo Bombers of America, Nancy Thorne of Gold Leaf Restoration, Ace Hotel, Ace Hotel, where we're going later, uh, the Sprockets, Regional Arts, Culture, and the other C, <laughs> Arts ACC. Yeah. 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 My friend Mechanic Mark, who's helped me put these bikes together for almost all of those five years. Yeah. In any way, shape, or form. Okay, and who else is left? TriMet and. Metro. TriMet, Metro, and. Blood Bomber. The Max! The Max!
So what we brainstormed and the Regional Arts and Cultural Council, Brian, Vanessa, there's Eloise Damrosh from the Regional Arts and Cultural Council. Here we are. And Eloise and her team working with mine, they're in the, uh, the business of putting together public art. And so we brainstormed and decided that, you know what? Useful public art is what we need more of here in Portland. And I don't know how many of you saw all the various designs that Handsome came up with. Some of them were some of them are bad and some of them are really, really bad. I only did one, it was good. Okay, but this is great and uh, you know Portland's uh, bike culture is, is not only fun, it's absolutely necessary for the future success of this city. Uh, reduce our footprint on the environment, make ourselves a lot more healthy, and it's great, fun, quirky stuff like this that keeps Portland, Portland. I was really proud to be a little bit part of it. Thanks very much. That looks great. Give me the first bike. Yeah. Is there a bunch of little bikes all together and they look like they're like this? Just bring them over.